Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with meteorologist Cameron Landfield. Good morning, everybody. The combination of several factors today are bringing us a very wet day, and that's going to linger for the extended forecast, too. So, We'll start with the first reason, and that's going to be the ample supply of moisture. And it's coming from way far away, which makes this an atmospheric river. You can see just how far away this plume of moisture is pushed out. Way out there, trailing all the way over to the Pacific Northwest. That's arriving today, about 9 o'clock. It should be out along the coast, and that is also coincidental with a big wave of low pressure energy. So it's going to shake all that out and bring us the rainfall and those cooler temps as well. So those are the three reasons why we end up with the rain today. Now looking out at that low pressure system, it's circulating just off of the coast at the moment. You can see the edge of where the cloud activity that's going to turn into rain is developing right there in that blue area. So it's definitely tracking with some good speed at the moment. And Looks like it'll be right on track to, like I said, arrive here just at about 9 o'clock on the coast. 7.30, you see your first little chance of some rainfall, but 9 is when things do pick up. And then as we get to 10.30, that's where some of the heavier rainfall starts to hit the coast. Looking at 11.30, we've got rainfall over the entire coastal range at this point, and it's heavy in some areas. Some of those yellow areas have a lot of topographic enhancement. One o'clock and we're seeing widespread rainfall everywhere. I think the heaviest it's going to get over the valley should be close to 230 here. You do see some of the snow picking up towards this number as well. 230 all the way into about six o'clock here. That snowfall continues to get heavier and heavier. Should be at its heaviest as we get to about seven o'clock. And then there's actually going to be some drying out over the inland areas, but not towards the south. Roseburg stays wet for most of the evening. The total accumulations today look pretty impressive. We're seeing a half an inch for Eugene, many places just close to a half an inch and a little bit more than that out on the coast. Snowfall not looking so bad either, especially for the southern passes. 4.3 inches of new snow for today, so could be hard to get through there. Make sure you keep that in mind if you plan on moving out towards the east today. The coast is at 54 for that high today, sitting at 56 on Halloween. We do heat up a little bit into Sunday. For the Umpqua Basin, wet all the way through into Sunday morning, 55 for today, down to 53 after. Cascade passes at 40 degrees for today. Snow level should be anywhere between 4,000 and 5,000 feet for the next couple days here. Willamette Valley at 53 today, down to 52 for tomorrow, even cooler.